Deborah Anderson, the Black Woman Animator, and this is the Jobs in Animation series, where I let you know how you can fit into the animation industry. So you like to build and construct things? Let's look into what jobs you can have doing that. Pre-visualization artist. A pre artist is a skilled generalist with considerable experience in digital animation and a keen eye for cinematography. They are a member of the visual effects team and are responsible for creating previs animatics during pre-production. Each artist assigned to the project will be responsible for a specific task or series of assets such as modeling and rigging characters, animating characters, modeling the environment, or contributing the lighting and particle effects as with explosion effects. The animations are not generated at high quality with detail in color and texture, but instead are rough approximations used only as a guide for filming. 3D Modeler 3D modelers build 3D models based on specifications. You're responsible for creating 3D characters, environments, and other items depending on your specialty. 3D modeling blends advanced technology with creative thinking and problem-solving skills in a fast-paced and detail-oriented environment. Some subsets are character modeler and environmental modeler. Look development artists. Look development artists create the materials, textures, and geometric instances that define the look of 3D characters, environments, and props. They require a great eye, exceptional critical thinking and image deconstruction, and advance artistic skills and abilities in CG and traditional artwork. Prop Artist A 3D prop artist can work on many aspects of a game, from initial 3D blockouts for prototyping game features to finished highly polished game-ready assets to be handed off to level art and animation teams for game use. Artists can work on anything from organic assets such as foliage to hard surface items like handheld weapons or anything in between. Prop maker. A prop maker in stop motion animation might make anything from fake jewelry to replica weapons and moving models. They work with a broad range of materials including metal, latex, fiberglass, wood, and textiles. Prop makers use a range of different skills to create props, such as carpentry, sculpting, casting, sewing, painting, welding, and computer-aided design. Digital Sculptor A digital sculptor sculpts a 3D object on a computer with material similar to digitalized clay. Software with brushes and tools that push and pull and pinch and smooth make it easy to create detailed sculpts that mimic real life textures and objects. Armaturist. An armaturist constructs armatures, which is metal framework that achieve the full range of performance, design, and movement required for the highest quality stop motion animated feature film. They develop armatures that facilitate character acting and puppet performance while holding the integrity of the puppet design. Silicone and foam caster. The caster is responsible for the casting of soft puppet parts for eventual use as a performance puppet on the stop motion stage. They require the understanding of various casting materials such as urethane, foam, and silicone. Digital fabricator. A digital fabricator designs an object on a computer before using a digital fabrication tool such as a CNC router or laser cutter to physically make or reproduce the object. They combine 3D modeling or computer-aided design, also known as CAD, with additive and subtractive manufacturing. Additive manufacturing is also known as 3D printing, while subtractive manufacturing may be referred to as machining. Many other technologies can be exploited to physically produce the designed objects. Set Carpenter A set carpenter in stop motion animation uses saws, hammers, hot glue guns, paintbrushes, and drills to make sets. 
The aim is to replicate the life-size version of something, so set builders need to consider their options carefully to decide what materials would suit each particular part of the set best. Modeling tools and painting techniques can recreate a lot of texture and details such as wood, brickwork, rust, foliage, etc. as often used to re recreate things. CAD Designer A CAD designer generates technical drawings that will aid in the building or manufacturing of many things. As a CAD designer, you may work with architects or civil engineers to design blueprints for projects like buildings or bridges. Or you may work with manufacturers to create precise technical drawings of products in production. So you like to build and construct things. I hope that helped.